Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And Apple today released iOS 13.2 Developer Beta 2. And I'm very, very excited for this update. Of course, this is a much anticipated update for iOS 13.2. And there's actually quite a bit to talk about. There's great improvements and changes to the software. And of course, we're gonna get to those here in this video. Now let's go to general and about here and take a look at the latest build number 17B5068. A, that's going to be the latest build number for iOS 13.2 developer beta 2. Now for public beta testers, you can follow me on Twitter. I'll be sure to let you guys know when this is available for you. I want to start off with some of the changes to the home screen. So if there's an application that you can delete from the home screen, for example, we've got the music application here, we can 3D touch and you see that we now have an entirely new menu. And I love this a lot because it now shows the delete application option. So delete music, which is the music app here. We can actually delete the application from the home screen. We don't have to click the rearrange app icon as before and then delete it by clicking on the X. We now have the option directly from here. We also have a new option here, edit home screen, which was previously called rearrange app icons or something like that on the home screen of the iPhone. So something definitely new, a welcome change to the home screen with iOS 13.2. Now, if we head on over to settings and we head on over to Siri and search, you can now delete the Siri dictation history directly on device as well. So Apple uses this data to improve Siri on your device. You can now delete the history and learn more on the about section, how your data and the dictation from Siri is being used on your device. So right there it is. This is the new splash screen that you'll see if you use the new audio recordings for Siri and dictation. So that's also new in this beta. Now, one thing that I'm super happy to announce is that Apple finally brought the ability to change the video resolution directly in the camera application for the iPhone 11, 11 Pro. This is awesome. This is something we've all been wanting for quite some time. So at the top here, as you see, we have a video capturing enabled and we can click on the resolution and it will change right there. You see the frame rate, 4K 30 frames right there, 4K. 720 right there 30 frames and you can change that continues to change hd 30 frames so on and so forth now hopefully apple will bring more menus into the actual camera application but it's a step in the right direction nonetheless changing the resolution directly from the camera is something that the iphone should have been able to do for quite some time but i'm happy that ios 13.2 actually brings this to the iphone so super excited about that now there's also changes to emojis so if we go to emojis here and there's quite a bit of changes here so if we go to the uh, emojis here where we go to select a couple. So let's go ahead and select the couples here. You now have the ability to select different couples directly on your emoji keyboard. So you can select different genders, different skin tones, different colors. So you can select this one here and this one here and create a specific combination to use that emoji on your keyboard specifically. So it's a really cool emoji keyboard now and it's more customizable. There's also support for Unicode 12 on the latest of 13.2 so a ton of new emojis here are some of the new ones that are currently available on the latest 13.2 as well now there's also a new video by developer rambo that shows off the airpods third generation noise cancellation animation that should be featured on ios 13.2 once those are released to the general public you'll be able to actually go into control center go into the actual audio right here for the control center and adjust the actual noise cancellation directly on the device this is an animation also found on the latest 13.2 now of course there's been a lot of app crashing also battery issues with ios 13.2 so i'm going to be testing this software this was just a quick look at some of the initial features and changes within the software. Stay tuned and make sure to subscribe because I have my follow-up video here in the next couple of days where I take a deeper dive into the software and talk about some additional features and changes and everything else in between. So be sure to subscribe for that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.